issues associated with the development here. Um, Tom was, was talking about the uh, wetland encroachments and, uh, and the buffering. The other uh, major issue here, besides the fact that we were losing a, a lot of forest and trying to uh, keep the wetlands intact, was stormwater. And what was going to happen with all the runoff, when you put down concrete, the water doesn't go into the ground. The current state of the art in stormwater management is called infiltration. It's what happens where the ground is, is covered with leaf litter in a forest or a meadow. The water, most of the water runs back and gets back into the ground, and some of it runs off. But when you have rooftops and you have concrete, and asphalt, it all runs off. So you have an issue of volume, flooding, flood control, but you also have a water quality issue. Uh, runoff that comes from uh, surfaces like this and lawns where you're fertilizing tends to have higher levels of phosphorus and nitrogen in it. And if that gets into streams, that grows algae. Algae sucks up the oxygen. Fish need oxygen. Too much algae, you get a fish kill. So one of the aims was to address water quality as well as water quantity. Now at the time that the uh, development here was approved, New Jersey hadn't quite caught up to the state of the art in managing water quality. They were more concerned with managing floods and flood control and quantity. And so we were aware of some techniques to try and address water quality and we, through the planning board being supportive, we're able to get the developer to include some of these measures to address water quality. And those included things like pretreatment structures, uh, filters in the uh, inlets to the detention basins that trap sediment so that you're capturing that before it gets in, and naturalizing some of the uh, stormwater facilities, including plants, more than just lawn, where you've got a mowed lawn in the bottom of the facility. Uh, using, the, there's a pond at the bottom at the entrance down there. Ponds are, are excellent uh, stormwater treatment. Uh, best, they're called best management practices, BMPs, and ponds are among the best. Uh, they, they allow sediments to, to settle out and uh, nutrients get absorbed by plants in the water. And so the water coming out of a wet pond is better than water coming out of a dry basin. Um, but if you use multiple stages of treatment, that's good. Plus, in some cases, we used some dry wells and were able to get water back into the ground rather than running it through the stormwater system. So there are a number of things that have been used here to try and address stormwater quality. Uh, with regard to um, some other aspects of the development, was there a question? Yes. Ah, you missed it. Turkey All vulture. Word. Yeah, there's two, there's two vultures that occur around here. Turkey vultures, and somebody was telling me this earlier, they knew what they were talking about. Turkey vultures are the ones that hold their wings in a V when you see them, and they kind of rock back and forth and float around. And there's a black vulture, which is a little smaller, has a black head rather than a red head, and holds its wings horizontal. It's a smaller bird. Has a, it looks like it has a sh too short a tail. Right. Very good. So, um, let's see, where was I going? Oh, landscaping. Close to the buildings, you'll see a lot of things that you might associate with, uh, if, you, if you grew up in a suburban environment like I did, or in the city, uh, you see plantings of, of uh, taxis and uh, roses and things like that that are non-native species. Uh, but they're very, they're very good, they're attractive, they add a nice formal look to a patio such as this. Uh, the daylilies behind you, those, those are not native here in North America. But once we got out away from the building, we said we'd really like you to use mostly native species. And so uh, out in the parking lots and uh, many other places that are away from the buildings a little bit, you'll see more native plants being used. Uh, service berries, some dogwoods, um, some shrub dogwoods, viburnums, things like that. We also did, um, a couple years ago, just before the uh, um, project was finished, 
there were some uh, impact. Yeah, those are turkey vultures. You can see the red head. <laughs> Everybody just keep moving a little bit, okay? Oh, 